Welcome back to this ABC 17 storm track weather alert day. We are tracking dangerously cold temperatures overnight tonight, plus even worse wind chills. Here's a look at this afternoon. Many of us feeling like we're really negative 10, negative 11, maybe even negative 15 below, but it's going to get worse before it gets better. We're tracking even colder temperatures as we continue on toward tomorrow morning. Overnight lows will be sub zero with those feels like temperature in the negative 20s for the majority of the viewing area. This is dangerously cold. There's no other way to put it. You want to layer up. You need to cover all exposed skin and avoid being outside if you can. And it's going to continue to be dangerously cold all throughout Valentine's Day. Stay inside, cuddle up, cook dinner at home and watch a movie with your boo if you are trying to celebrate Valentine's Day because it's going to continue to be in those negative teens and negative 20s all the way throughout the day Sunday. And then as we head into Monday morning, still dangerously cold. A lot of us yet again in those negative teens and 20s Monday morning and then all the way throughout the day, we'll start to see a slight warm up throughout next week, but it's going to take a while for us to get there. Tomorrow's actual temperatures, 10 a.m., 0 degrees by 1 p.m., 4 4 p.m., 7 degrees, and by 7 p.m. still sub really 10 degrees. We're not going to make it to double digits for tomorrow. That's not the only thing we're tracking. We're also tracking potential for some snowfall this afternoon and overnight tonight. Many of us will be staying dry, but then by tomorrow, really late morning, mid-morning, late morning, we're expecting some snow showers to start pushing into the area. These will impact our western counties first, but then as we continue on throughout the morning, a good band of snow will push through. We should have a little bit of a break from the snowfall aside from a few flurries here and there, but the accumulating snowfall will return overnight Sunday into Monday before we get another blast of some snowfall that has potential to impact that morning commute. So definitely keep that in mind. If you have to be out Monday morning, we're going to be dealing with some snowfall. Now Sunday we're expecting about half an inch to maybe an inch of accumulation, but then by Monday evening, a lot of us can be picking up even more snowfall. It's going to range very much so on where you're at within mid-Missouri. I'll have a map showing you what you can expect in just a minute, but I want to point out this isn't our only snow chance for the week. Wednesday will bring another chance for some snow possibly, and that could continue into Thursday. Those chances are something we're going to be dealing with after tomorrow and Monday. Here's a look at that snow tracker showing you what we can expect Sunday into Monday. Up north for once in what seems like a hundred times, you guys actually are not going to be seeing the brunt of this it's going to be a little bit of a southern problem. Now, Columbia and really that I-70 corridor are going to be seeing anywhere from 2 to 4 inches total by Monday evening. Down south, you guys could be picking up anywhere from 4 to 6 inches. Very further south portions of Missouri could be seeing even more snowfall than that. So that's something we're keeping a close eye on because with this bitter cold, we've seen it. We saw it all last week. It is hard to treat those roadways. And as you look at the seven-day forecast, it'll be about half the week before we start climbing out of those single digits and can hopefully get some treatments on the roadways.